This is fight number 14, thanks to our sponsors, Engage Industries. Fighting at the blue corner, making his professional debut tonight. Fighting at 61.2 kilos, training under Anthony Parash at the Team Parash MMA Gym in Sydney. Please welcome Andrew Carrara. Wow, speaking of intense, here we Scared go. Scared the shit out of me. Fighting out of the red corner. Don't you do that. At 61.6 kilos. Also making his professional debut tonight. Training under Todd Commons. He fights out of the Infinity Gym in North Lakes. Kieran the Barbarian Cronin. Kieran Cronin coming out in the southpaw here. As is Kerr, actually. Very interesting. It's not often that you see one southpaw, but now we're seeing two of them. Creates what we call in boxing a, a closed guard position. Both the power hands are shielded by their opponent's lead hand. It's very, very interesting. It's good to see Kieran wanting to strike here. Very, very long opponent. Interesting fight here for Kerr. Being able to navigate the newly acquired boxing skills of Kieran Cronin. Kieran Cronin in a really low stance here. He's looking to just potentially pick his opponent off. He's quite relaxed. He's got his, he's got his rear hand up, as you said, sort of protecting the power. Yeah, and we just see uh, Kier just explode and try and make up that, make up that differential in reach. A-class fight. Elbows are allowed. Oh, Kier with that left hand. He really connects there strongly. Yeah, expect more of that from Kier. Again with the low Ooh, kick. Yeah, it was checked there by Cronin, though. He did kick him square in the knee. It's definitely a feeling out process, but some decent shots have been fired up, and I think he's got the, the better of the exchanges so far. Yeah, alluding to our conversation before, as the, the rules go up, moving on to uh, A-class fights now, we might see a bit of the IQ go up. Care saying that that kick was a little high. Cronin, really good uh, job at controlling the cage and shepherding Kerr back. Kerr is resorting to these low kicks because of the, the differential in reach here. That's why we're not really seeing him explode. We're, we're seeing him wait and bide his time. If you look at Cronin, he's actually, you know, although he's got quite that sort of a wide stance in his crouch, he's quite narrow. He's, he's fairly heavy on that front foot, and thus we're seeing it, it work a little bit. And just from my position, I can see it's a little bit red there, starting to swell up a little bit, and it might play a factor later into these rounds. Yeah. I mean, if you put money in the bank, you might get some interest in the third, maybe even the second. He's totally content to just sit here picking up that leg. Yeah. Especially if Cronin keeps putting his weight on it. I mean, he's, Cronin's not really giving him anything uh, to respect. Starting to weld up there. Mm. At what point does Cronin say enough? With the striking exchanges when that leg takes a bit of a beating. And try to take this down, try and drown Kerr. Kerr looks quite a powerful fighter. Oh, absolutely. Very again explosive. 3-0 as an amateur. Kier. Yeah, 3 and 0 as an amateur moving into his pro career here against Kieran Cronin, also on debut. Kieran having a little having a little talk. There you go, getting a little bit excited. Yeah, why not? Kieran just touching him. Sitting there going to the body. Oh, and Kerr gives it straight back. It's a war of leg kicks and a war of words. Physical and mental debate. Don't get me wrong, though. I am much more interested in them debating with their fists. Kerr taking a second to look <laughs> directly at his corner to get advice. Yeah, he might be psyching out Cronin to work there. He just kicked that leg again. How much can this leg take? Well, Cronin is really dogged on that stance, isn't he? I mean, yeah. yeah. Almost Nate Diaz-esque. Lowering himself down. Mm -hmm. Very heavy on the front leg. It does maximize your reach, keeping your shoulder in line with the chin of your opponent. But 
You get a little bit heavier on those feet. Mm -hmm. Hips sink a little. Plants that leg, which means it absorbs all of these kicks. So we do have a, a black belt versus a blue belt, but there's no, been no hint of any sort of wrestling exchange. No. And Kerr doing a really good job at you know, keeping you on the outside. And thus, oh, here we go, here we Crony go. Big takes shots. Two. Crony oh, takes two. Right in front of us, it's over. And that's all over. Whoa, that was in the interest of fighter safety there. Cronin just ate two. He ate two really big ones on the ground. We saw him go flat. Cares friends and family marching into the cage here. And here we go to the finish. Cronin takes a kick, he eats two. Another leg kick, just biding his time, waiting for his shot. Touches him on the chin, tells him stay back. If you get him on range, we'll know about it. Bang! Cronin comes back, eats one, two, his feet are gone. A lightning fast finish there, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The referee acted in the fighter's best interest there. From where Cronin was, going down to his back, not defending himself in a really compromised position. The ref acting, choosing to stop the fight so he didn't receive any further damage. At a time of four minutes and nine seconds of the very first round, this fight has been stopped by referee Tim Takano. Your winner by TKO, Andrew Carrare. Right there. Very, very excited with the win. I don't blame him. Comes in with his pro debut, absolutely storming. Even with the jaw jabbering and during the fight and a little bit of trash talk. It's awesome uh, sportsmanship from these guys, able to take a photo. Bury the hatchet.